Okay guys, so we are back again and uh, now we are going to do the tail section of this aircraft and uh, as you can see here in the tail section there are two guide curves that is going straight and is you know falling on on top of each other but on the other hand we can see that this guide curve is going all the way you know it's it's going straight it is not fo following this curve that the fuselage should follow so I'll show you what happens when we have a guide curve that is like this and we can't do the Pierce process that we did earlier for all the profiles like we did over here so we'll just we'll just see what's gonna happen so we just take a reference plane and uh, we put a plane we put a plane that is on this point that's the very farthest end of the fuselage and we're gonna make a sketch over there so as we did earlier we're going to make a four point spline and we are going to pierce it onto the sketch so piercing this point to this curve pierced it piercing this point to this curve see now it's it is getting a bit weird and this point is going to be pierced and this curve is going to look see it's it's not gonna work so what we what we should do is we should make a curve we should make a curve that that is following this curve over here in this plane but it should also follow this curve over here as well so that calls in for a 3d curve or a composite curve or a 3d sketch so in this in this tutorial we are just going to talk about the 3d sketch and not the composite curve because we will be using the composite curves for the wings and which is a better idea so for now we have to create few planes and after creating the planes we'll do the sketching that we did for these sections okay so as you can see I've created a lot of planes here and all these planes are on the key points like this plane is on this point over here and this plane is on this point over here this plane is on this point over here so all these planes are on key points and the reason why I've done so many points is because we're having a, a 3d 3d curve that we're gonna draw and uh, it's better if we do a lot of points on there so that it follows you know it follows a better path so so now we'll just do uh, uh, the same thing that we did earlier but there's going to be a little bit of math involved so i'm going to show you what we're going to do i'll just hide all these planes and let's just do a simple sketch on here just to show you what we're going to do so as you can see if i do the convert entities it it just describes the outline of this on the plane on the surface that we're sketching so we have a you know we have the shape of the fuselage over here that is the shape of the oval that we have and we just put a center line over here so that we know the height of this oval and also we're gonna put a reference line where this this uh, guide curve meets the oval so at this point this guide curve is meeting the oval so now what we have to do is we are going to measure this we're going to keep it driven and we're going to measure this also and what we're just doing is we're just making a ratio we're just going to find a ratio of this distance and this distance and with that ratio we're going to plot this point this points on all the other sketches the reason why I'm uh, using this, the reason why I'm using this ratio is that as the 
As the fuselage grows to the rear of the aircraft, the shape of the oval, the size and the height of the oval changes. So this distance also changes and we need to take a ratio for that and we're going to use that ratio to calculate this distance from the total height of that oval at that plane so to find the ratio we're just going to use the calculator where's the calculator so what we have here is we have 8188 0.24 and divided by no we, we should not do that we should divide the small one with the big one so we have 2368 2368.59 divided by 8188.24 8188.24 and that gives us a value like 0 0.28926 it's a big value so we just we just need this small one and 0 0.289 that is approximately 0 0.29 so we're just taking the ratio as 0 0.29 so we keep that in mind 0 0.29 that is the ratio so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna exit the sketch and we are going to draw a sketch on the plane that we made so show it we're just going to sketch on there as we did earlier a spline oops where is it a four point spline and we pierce the spline onto this guide curves that guide curve we'll do that right now so what we're doing right now is we know the ratio and as you can see there's no intersection at this point yeah there there's an intersection over there and there's an intersection over there as well but the thing is when you look at this like this the total height of this oval is different from the total height of this oval this is a bit higher and this is a bit shorter so this is not the point that this oval should be intersecting so what we should do is we should go to the sketch and like what we did earlier we are going to make a center line from this end to that end and then another center line from this end you know we can do that like this crosses the entire thing so now we have to take these relations away because that might create a problem in the future it might uh, say that it's over defined so what we do is we just measure this so as you can see the measurement that we had was eight eight thousand something in the previous sketch and here it's just seven thousand nine hundred we are already ha missing a couple of hundred uh, millimeters over there and we got to take another measurement from here uh, to the base and that is giving you another dimension so now you go to the calculator now you go to the calculator and we uh, remember we got the ratio as 0 0.29 and we use that over here 7 9 3 0 0.02 multiplied by 0 0.29 that gives us 2299.7058 that is that should be the length of this 
the you know uh, the distance from this point to the center line so 2299.7058 let's put that here so okay, you draw a new center line there with a dimension over there 2299 2299.70 that's the measurement that we got from the calculations, right? And now we know that oval should be intersecting this and not the other other part. So it should be here. And it should be there. So now you can see the oval is a bit different from the earlier sketch so that's a whole point of taking the ratios because we get we should we should get a different sketch in if uh, different all the plane all the different planes that we made and so that we will get a better better profile out of this empennage okay, so I've drawn out all the required sketches and you can see that you see this line that is going up slowly so, so you can see here you can see a series of points that is going up gradually and it ends up here that's where our 3d sketch is going to be so it's going to start from this point where the where this sketch where this guide curve meets this uh, profile and it's going to follow these points through uh, it's going, going to follow these points and end up over here so at first we have to make a small sketch over here it's just uh, a center line a reference from this point to this end so that our guide curves can start from there there we go so that's done and now we go to sketch and we go to 3d sketch and we're just going to trace out these points so we just give it a uh, just take a spline we just do this the next point and the next point and then the next point the next point we just do like that and there we have it so it's a curve from this direction and also a curve from this direction as well so it's a 3d sketch it is a sketch in two dimensions I mean in three dimensions so we just have to do a small a little bit of fine-tuning over here that is you have to make it a bit straight right okay that's good and that looks pretty good because it's following the guide curve on this section so that is pretty neat and that's all we have to do and we had to do the same on the other side as well okay now all the guide curves are done the 3d sketches are done and we're just gonna hide these guide curves because we don't need it and we're gonna do the loft operation that we did earlier so go to features go to loft base select the profiles so let's just select this profile because we get to start there then this Selecting the profiles. This is like taking some time. My laptop is a bit slow. I mean, I, I've asked a lot from this guy. <laughs> Oh my poor laptop. 
out. <laughs> so we got that now. You go for the guide curves. So the first guide curve is going to be the top guide curve, and the second one is going to be the 3D sketch that we did earlier. So that is here. There we go. And then the third guide curve, that's the bottom guide curve. And the fourth guide curve, that is the other second 3D sketch. And we just give it. And there we go. That's a neat looking tail section. So, it is not, uh, you know, it is up to scale and it looks a bit precise. It is, you know, way more accurate than just eyeballing the, you know, the splines, right? So, it, it gives you a smooth curve, it gives that contour, and that's what we're looking at, looking for, right? So, so that's how you make the empennage and... We have more videos coming next video we're gonna talk about the wings and the belly the belly is pretty much the same just like the logs and you're just doing it on this section that's all and the wings and wings are a bit uh, in when we are doing the wings we will be talking about the composite curves and 3d sketches and converting the 3d sketches and things like that so this is all the empennage is about and the fuselage so that's the end of the fuselage and so for more videos just subscribe comment on these videos i'm also learning from this i'm new to this so comment please like my video subscribe for more see you see you later bye